Hi there. Welcome to C programming tutorial. This tutorial is one of the tutorials in the sequence of uh, uh, of a number of tutorials that covered the entire C programming language uh, in 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 fairly you know quite a bit of details. Um, if you if you if you haven't watched the videos before this tutorial, I would highly recommend that you do that. Uh, there is a link on the screen right now uh, for the playlist of all those tutorials in uh, in the order in which you are supposed to be watching them. So if you click on that link, you will basically be seeing the entire um, uh, all the tutorials and in in, in in just the order in which you are supposed to be watching those. Anyway, today's tutorial we will be covering the binary number system. Um, it is not very much specific to um, the C programming. It's a, it's a general concept in s computer science and mathematics, but it was very useful concept for you know for all kind of programming languages. So let's let's get started. Well, so all of us have been introduced to decimal number system, a number system that we use from you know fr that have been we have been taught about um, since we were in I don't know, like pre-k or kindergarten or something so let's let's try to revisit it and let's see how how it works so the the, the normal number system that we work with today let's let's say is you know starting from zero if I start counting in that number system how the how, how does it work it's you do zero one two three four five six seven eight nine right yeah I know I still know counting <laughs> anyway so yeah this is how it works and then what comes after that is we know that it's 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 10 but but if you look at it you know what what happened here these these are the fundamental numbers here 0 to 9 these are the numbers that are made they, they are not made of any other number they are just numbers on their own uh, other numbers are made up of those numbers like 10. 10 is made up of 1 and 0. So these fundamental numbers they are called digits. So we have like 10 digits 0 to 9. And so 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 what happens? So so what happens if you you know you start from 0 and you get to 9 what what do you do at that point? I mean you you just ran out of digits here. So the next number that we make which is 10 here is basically the way it is made is if you l if you look at it is basically this nine there's nothing after this nine so what we did was we basically reset it to zero so nine became zero here right and then actually there was a hidden zero in all these numbers here right uh, and what we did was we incremented that zero to a one so that's how we got a ten and then what's the what comes next 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and then oops we ran out of digit again so what do we do we do the same thing as we did here we reset this guy to 0 and we increment the next guy to 2 and then we go to 21 and so on that's that's how our number system works this is how we build numbers and this with this method we could count to I don't know like infinity so we can just keep counting and counting and counting so this is how our number system works so the question is that we have 10 digits what if we had 8 digits what if we had 6 digits would would this have worked what if we had 14 digits would that would would we still be able to count would we be able to you know do our work as 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 we are do, we do you know in our daily life would we be able to count dollar bills you know how much amount something is and and all stuff like that fortunately the answer is yes if you look at this if you observe this closely you you know just like we did today i mean it really d doesn't matter how many digits we have as long as there are more than one digits we can do that so let's 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 see if we have only two digits zero and one to work with okay in our universe there is there are only two digits you know zero and one so can we can we count like this let's see let's try it so we start from zero then we go to one and then we cannot go to two because there is no such thing as two in this universe only only zero and one so what do we do we do the same thing here we went from nine and which was the last digit here there was nothing after that we basically reset it to zero so we do the same thing zero one 
and then zero again and then what what else we did there was a hidden zero here what did we do with that zero we incremented it by one so there is a hidden zero here hidden zero here so what do we do to that zero we incremented it to one cool w what comes next we inc increment this guy to one this stays the same just like it stays the same until we get to the end of the digits until we run out of digits so here what comes after that we don't know there is we again ran out of digits here so what do we do we basically change this guy to a zero again and we try to increment this guy that's our rule and there's nothing after this so we change this to zero also and then because of that there is a hidden zero here so we increment that zero to one so you see how we are going from what this is how we are counting here zero if I make a line here you know ignoring the leading zeros this is how we are counting here zero one one zero one 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 zero zero what comes next one zero one 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 zero one 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 these are the numbers these are the numbers in a in the world where we only have two digits zero and one well it's a, it's kind of hard for us to you know to uh, understand or visualize what these numbers look like but but if you think about it, I mean it's very easy for for us to visualize these numbers but they are it's very hard for us to visualize these numbers but if you think about it this number system is very easy to handle why because there are only two two digits there are only two states and there are so many things around us which have only two states like switches I don't want to go into that detail but just just because of the fact that they are very simple to handle the computer system or the digital circuits basically work with you know with binary numbers so computers can store numbers in binary number system and that's okay because we know that we can write any number we want we could the next number comes is one zero 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 one zero 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 one and we could just keep on writing and writing and writing and it's just we can go to infinity with this number system as well this is zero this is the same as one this is the same as two this is same as three this is same as four this is same as five and so on so this number system which has two digits that's called binary number system number system this number system which has 10 digits it's called decimal number system you know binary is by means two deci is related to 10 so binary and decimal well so this was just the introduction to binary number system this lecture will have to be continued because I'm running out of time uh, because YouTube allows only up to upload uh, 10 minutes at a time 10 minutes of video at a time thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the continuation uh, the the next video which is the continuation of this uh, lecture because this topic is not done yet thank you so much